Hi boys and girls, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. This week's Raven Report, but and it's going to be a good report by the way. Uh, some nice fish catches. But before we go there, um, I want to share a conversation I had with Todd Driscoll last week and kind of a call to action for us. So Todd and I were talking, uh, just catching up, and of course you know me, I'm quizzing him about what he's seeing at, at Toledo on the fish tracking study. And interestingly, a fish, and I don't remember the dates exactly, but a fish that they had lost track of, I want to say last June or July, because it had been almost six months, that they couldn't track that fish. Fish disappeared. They assume it either got harvested or, or swam away. Uh, but more likely, we, you know, the thought process was the fish got caught and moved somewhere else. But uh, that fish just showed back up. And Todd said, it was not in housing. He said, their equipment is good enough. Had it been in housing, they would have detected it because they kind of run all over. And I didn't know this he, as he was talking. Apparently, their transmitter has all the different frequencies of the fish uh, programmed in. And I remember just because he said it was fish 102. And he said it was like, well, wait a minute, that fish has been missing. So... This is going to be really interesting. Some of those fish that moved out and we talked about when we did the interview with him the other day, you know, one of those fish is out there on the flats, kind of, he said, three or 400 yards from anywhere we would normally look at for fish in a pack of fish, just wolfing, kind of like the guy caught those fish, uh, the young man that won the Toyota series over there. So some of those fish sound like maybe you're migrating back into uh, housing. He checked, I asked him and he checked because I knew you guys would ask. They shocked that fish in May is how they caught that fish. So, uh, again, some really, really interesting stuff is going to come out of that study as we move into uh, the winter months and then as the fish start coming back shallow to spawn. So, in that conversation with Todd, so I'm going to give you guys a teaser. And, and man, knock on wood, I hope I don't jinx this deal. Uh, you know, when I ask guys to join my channel, when I ask you to subscribe, I say join the Ken Smith Fishing family. That's how I've always stated it. That's how I feel. Uh, and, and speaking of which, I got to apologize every once in a while. Guys, I average about 20 emails, messages from Facebook uh, or uh, other communications, usual or, or responses, comments to, uh, to videos. And I try to respond to every one of them. And Every once in a while, one slips through the cracks. I found one today that was about three weeks old. If I don't respond to you, ping me again. Sometimes they just slip through the cracks. I get busy at work, or I think I'll respond to that later, and then I go back and I can't find it because I can't remember which channel it came through on, you know, as far as YouTube or an email or whatever. So if you've reached out to me and I've not reached back, I apologize. It's me, but ask me again. I, I I, I, there's no way it can happen two times that I won't get back to you. And I know somebody asked me for a link the other day, and I went to try to find it today, and I couldn't find where that person had asked for it, so I know at least one right there that I still owe a response to if I can ever figure out where that was. So anyway, so Todd, so one of the Ken Smith fishing family reached out to me. It's been about 60 days ago now, and we may be about to have a sponsor for all of us. There's no other way to say that. It's a big company. They're interested in getting involved with the fishing industry in Texas. And stay tuned. I mean, we're that close to getting this deal done. And when, I, when we do, it'll be the most exciting announcement I've ever got to make. And maybe one of the most exciting announcements for Texas fishermen specifically. And hopefully we can eventually expand this beyond just Texas. But to that end, one of the things this sponsor and I were talking about was to share a lunker program and how to drive up the participation in that and and reward some guys for that and again if we get this worked out i'll tell you all about that but so i was telling todd about that and he's like that sounds cool and so i had looked at the Lunker program about 60 days ago and i knew about this some time ago so the share Lunker program for those of you who aren't familiar it's a texas park on wildlife if you catch a 13 plus pound fish i believe it runs from december till maybe april but it's a springtime and you call them and you say, hey, I got this fish. It's in the live well or it's in a minute tank. They will literally get in the truck in Athens and drive to where that fish is and inspect that fish. And if that fish is healthy and they think they can spawn that fish, they take that fish back to Athens and they basically breed that fish because of that fish's genetics to try to build, breed giant fish for you and me to catch. And there's, yeah, I'm going to say two to ten of those caught in any given year. 
Uh, I looked, I don't remember how many, I want to say there were six last year. Um, and that may not be right, I just, off the top of my head. But what they did was recently, so that is, not, so they, they changed that program in the last, I think, two years. And again, please don't hold me to that. But so they now call a 13 plus a Lunker Legend class, and it's exactly the way it was before. But then they also have a Elite class, which is a 10 plus pound fish, and then just a Lunker, a lunker class, which is an eight plus pound fish. So Todd and I were talking about it, and I had never really thought about why Texas Park and Wildlife did that. And Todd said, look, he said, we did that because that's data for us. So remember, Texas Park and Wildlife is a bunch of biologists, right? And biologists, they want data. They, and, and so this is one of the ways that they thought they could collect data. So this is how they thought they could collect data to, to see the health of certain lakes, to see what lakes seem to support big fish. It all helps them figure out their, uh, sort of what lakes are performing well, what lakes need help, what lakes might be a uh, possibility of growing a giant in. So last year, so Todd, uh, so he said the problem is we don't feel like we're getting near the response to that program we thought we would. So I just did a, a real rough count. So the first fish weighed last year was an 892. Brittany Newman from Longview caught it on January the 1st out of Gilmer, out of Lake Gilmer, which I fished. And the last fish weighed was number 2145 caught by Cody Broadway. Uh, Cody's from Tyler and he was over at Fork. He caught a 910. So that's about 461 fish that it looks like have been weighed this year. And Todd and I were talking and he said, you know, he goes, that is a fraction, and I don't know if it's 20% or 2% of the eight plus pound fish that got caught in Texas this year. And I said, well, that's funny you say that because I caught four, I, I recall catching four over eight and one over 10 this year, and I didn't report any of them. He said, well, I'll tell you another statistic. He said, I track on Rayburn all big tournaments, so I know every eight plus pound fish that got caught on Rayburn this year. And he said, so I have that list, and I compared it to our reporting list. And he said, not one fish that got caught over eight pounds on Rayburn this year in a tournament got reported to the, uh, and it's now, it's the, sorry, camera cut off, got reported to the take, uh, to the Toyota Share Lunker program. So if you think about that, I mean, you think back to Danny and Brian's 49-pound stringer this spring, they had all five of their fish in their stringer were over eight pounds. All five could have been reported. Um, this is just something that we need to be doing and it's so, so simple to do. Let me show you actually. So I know this normally doesn't work very well, but check it out. There's a little icon down there and that is the Enter Assure Lone Star Lunker. And it's incredibly easy to do. All you do is you, you download the app, you can do it on your computer as well. You download the app, bear with me for one sec. So you just download the app to your phone. It will take you through it. So you say, now this is for under 13 pound fish. If it's over 13, obviously it's got to get away. But, uh, and I, I've noticed this also, there's also uh, uh, fishing reports up here, but you hit share a lunker and it takes you right through the requirements. And I mean, it, it really is simple. It says, okay, take a picture of the fish this way with your phone, bam, it's, it's done. It's kind of like when you deposit checks with your phone. And it's an incredibly, incredibly easy process. And this would help our park and wildlife biologists better manage our fisheries. So there's absolutely no reason not to do this. So my plea to you guys is, let's blow this up this year. So you heard me, I corrected myself on the text. I had counted over 400, but Park and Wildlife reports 309 fish for the year. So there were way over 300 eight pound fish caught, I would bet you money on Rayburn this year. So let's get them the data they need to better manage our fisheries, and if I can get this deal done with this, with this Texas freshwater fishing sponsor who I'm working on, there'll be some rewards built into this for us too. So, but even if there's not, even if there's not, this is something you guys, when I did the, did the, uh, or when I've done the videos with Todd in the past, I get tons of questions. How can we support park and wildlife? This is how you can support parks and wildlife. So let's jump on board with them. Let's start self-reporting. I'll start talking about some of you guys when I see your names on here. If I know you're a viewer, I'll talk about it. 
or you can ping me and say, hey man, I entered a fish, and I'll, I'll do my best to mention it on the weekly reports. Hey, we could spend, I mean, you think about it, I bet, I bet you guys as my viewers catch, I'm going to say on average five or ten fish over eight pounds a week that nobody ever hears about. So let's help those guys out. So let's, rather than doing the fishing report now, let's do the fishing report tomorrow. So this has been a long introduction, too long of a video just to be an introduction. So normally I post Tuesdays and Thursdays. What I'm going to do this week is I'm posting this today. This is Tuesday. I will post the Rayburn fishing report Wednesday. I got some more stuff for you on Thursday. Uh, so we'll get three videos up this week between Christmas and New Year's. I know we're going to get the Falcon review done and we're going to get the, um, what was the other review I know we got coming? Oh, 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 uh, the Bass Catalans, guys. That's the boat I decided I want to look at. Some folks have offered me a Bass Cat Jaguar with a 450 on it. That's probably not the boat for me, but if I can review it, I wouldn't mind driving that boat around one day. Uh, we're still waiting on Clayton's Nitro. We're waiting on Michael's uh, uh, Ballistic as soon as those are in. We'll get those reviews done. There's a couple of boats left. And then i got to make a decision on which boat I'm going to go with next year. So I need to do that pretty soon because I need to get it ordered. So I need to get this wrapped up. And then I am going to do 10 boats for several reasons, mainly just curiosity. But I'm going to do 10 boats next year. I'm thinking, I'll, and I would love you guys' input on this. I'm thinking 18-foot boats is what I want to look at there, which really brings that price point down. We're probably looking at 130 to 150 horsepower motors, but I'd love you guys input on that what you'd like to see So let's just do that you guys tell me in the comments what 10 I need brands because I don't know very many And I want to know length and horsepower you want me to look at and I'll get on that real early this next year as well So thanks for tuning in fishing report will be up tomorrow I got more stuff coming on Thursday and then I'll have multiple fishing reports excuse me multiple boat reviews up uh, in very, very early January so we can make a decision and get a boat ordered here pretty soon. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll have Fish Report up for you tomorrow.